Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats and best of luck. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations. Seniors, congratulations on graduating. Wishing you all a lot of success on all of your future endeavors. Congratulations. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations and wishing you all much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations. Greyhounds for life. Hey folks, I'm Coach Malcolm, varsity golf coach at Northern Burlington. I uh, want to recognize our lone senior, Renee Harris. Uh, she was accepted to NYU and is going to be studying uh, business there in the fall. Great accomplishment. Uh, thanks for everything you did and good luck to you. Uh, we're going to miss you. Hello, my name is Maria Tomasetti. I am the varsity head coach for the boys tennis team. I am pleased to recognize the following seniors, Benjamin Pike, Pranav Ava, Shreyas Sithatha, and Timukta Jagannathan. I want to take a moment to say how proud I am of all of our seniors and wish them every success and happiness in the future. Benjamin Pike will attend RCBC next fall. Benjamin, Coach Keenan and I appreciated your enthusiasm and positivity for your new sport. Pranav Ava, who will attend Princeton University and major in computer science with a minor in finance. Pranav, thank you for your dedication, your great sense of humor, and your leadership on and off the tennis court. Shreyat Sipalpa, who will attend Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute as a physics major. Shreyas, thank you for your commitment to tennis, your positive attitude, and your role as a mentor to all of our newer players. And lastly, Samukta Jagannathan, who was our manager this year. She will attend Indiana University as an accounting business major. Sumikta was a four-year varsity player for the girls' tennis team. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you to all of our wonderful tennis parents for their support this year and every year. I would also like to thank all of New Northern Burlington's senior student athletes for making me proud to be a coach and a teacher. Hey, NB Nation. My name is Coach Schreiner, and I'm the head varsity coach for boys volleyball. This year, I am pleased to recognize the following seniors. Nick Bogle, defensive specialist, will be attending RCBC to study communications and creative writing. Josh Foley, libero, will be attending Lees McRae College to study sports management. Jake Frick, setter and opposite hitter, will be attending the College of New Jersey to study marketing and criminology. Brett Hubbard, outside hitter, will be attending the College of New Jersey to study business. Sultan Kabaha, opposite hitter, will be attending Rutgers University, New Brunswick to study economics. Eric Kohler, setter, will be attending the College of New Jersey to study finance. Michael Maruka, middle hitter, will be attending Rutgers University, New Brunswick to study finance. Connor Mulrine, outside hitter, has yet to decide on a college, but plans to study cybersecurity. Renee Ramirez, defensive specialist, will be enlisting in the United States Air Force. Nathan Todd, defensive specialist, 
will be attending the Catholic University of America to study civil engineering and architecture. Dominic Vigorito, defensive specialist, will be attending the University of Tennessee to study business analytics. To our class of 2020, while our time together this year was brief and our season not what any of us expected, I and the rest of the coaches are extremely proud of your accomplishments both on and off the court. We thank you for all of your hard work to help grow our program and get us to where we are today. We wish each of you the very best in all of your future endeavors and look forward to welcoming you back to visit us on the volleyball court in the future. Congratulations. The Northern Burlington Girls Track and Field Class of 2020. Kelsey Anasens, a mid-distance runner and member of the 4x800 Relay, will be attending Misericordia University to study speech and pathology. At Misericordia, she'll run cross country in track and field, and her favorite track memory is finally breaking the school 4x800 relay record last year at States. Nina Burden, another mid-distance runner and another member of the 4x8 relay team, is going to Stevens Institute of Technology and she'll be studying biomedical engineering. At Stevens, Nina is going to play soccer and her favorite track memory is also breaking the school 4x8 record last year at States. Grace Boyle, a pole vaulter for the Hounds, is going to Penn State and she'll be studying mechanical engineering. Her favorite track memory is getting to work the meet of champions where she got to watch some great athletes compete on our home track. Jocelyn Harrell, a high jumper, hurdler, and 200 meter runner, will be going to Keene University where she'll major in biotechnology and molecular biology. Her favorite track memory is dancing in the weight room with her track girls. Emily Heinzelman, a distance runner for the Hounds, is going to Penn State and she'll be studying nursing. At Penn State, she's gonna be a member of the club track and cross country teams. And her favorite memory was last year when Coach Richards tricked the distance kids into thinking that they were going to have the hardest practice of the year and then surprised them with an egg hunt. Apparently, the boys cheated. Crystal Kim, a first year track and fielder. She was gonna throw the shot put in the discus for us. She'll be going to Rutgers University to study aerospace engineering. At Rutgers, she's gonna be a part of ROTC and her favorite track memory was just being able to experience something different and getting to meet new people. Olivia Okerson, a 400 meter hurdler and an 800 meter runner is going to Stockton University where she's gonna study early special education. At Stockton, she plans on being on the rowing team and her favorite memory is running three to six miles every day with her friends. Kanisha Raymond, a hurdler, a jumper, and a sprinter is gonna be attending the University of Pittsburgh to study pre-med. She's going to be on the track and field team at Pitt and her favorite memory is winning divisionals on her birthday and also breaking the school shuttle hurdle record by over seven seconds. And Kasachi Sendi, a 100 meter runner, jumper and hurdler is going to college, but she's not sure where quite yet. Her favorite track memory is breaking the four by one school record last year with Kanisha, Izzy and Azariah. Hi, I'm John Barbador, the head track coach here at Northern Burlington. First and foremost, I hope this message finds you and your family well. Thank you for joining us for our senior spotlight, and to now I'd like to look at our 27 seniors. First, we have Bryce Barron, who will be attending Holy Cross and majoring in economics. Bryce's favorite event was the high jump, and his advice to the younger class will be to keep working hard and pushing towards your goals despite these difficult times. Next, we have David Betts. He was a first year member of our team. He will be studying business analytics at University of Kansas. And one thing that he'd like to pass along to the underclassmen is to not always about cherishing every moment, but it's about creating memories that are worthwhile and ones that will stick with you for a while. Now we have Devontae Birdsong, a thrower, the two year varsity award winner. His favorite event is the shot put. And he would like to say to all of his parents, coaches, and teachers, thanks for all the help. 
uh, the coaching staff, parents, and his teammates. Harrison Case is a sprinter jumper who will be attending TCNJ next year. His favorite event was the 400 meters, and his advice to the underclassmen will be to stick with the program and follow coach's advice to a team. Moving on, we have Joshua Cassidy, also a thrower. He was a four-year member of our program. His favorite event was the discus, and again, his advice to the underclassmen would be, just enjoy the time you have left, because it will soon be over just like that. Our next senior is Ethan Century. He's a first year member of our team, who's Brent Sprints. He's a multi-season athlete coming over to us for track and field. Jason Dingle was a transfer, a multi-event coming over to Vermouling Borough. He will be running next year at Post University. His favorite event is the pole vault. And again, message to his underclassmen would be much love and support, and I wouldn't be here right now without all of you. Banji Fabajuisi is a senior sprinter. He will be attending Rutgers University next year. His favorite event is the 200, and his advice to the underclassmen would be to work hard and to eat well. Moving forward, Colton Hancock is a distance runner, first year member of our team. His favorite memories this year of the season will be going on long, running long distances with his crew, and his advice would be to the underclassmen to run track, it'll get you in shape. Our next senior here is Elijah Harris, a multi-event uh, athlete. He will be attending Norwich University studying criminal justice. He's a four-year member of our program, and his advice would be to work hard and focus on the goals ahead, and eventually you will get there. Our next senior is Carlos Aquinde, a thrower, a four-year member of our program. His event is the discus. His advice would be to never try to become the same person you look up to, but to try to surpass that person. Our next senior we're highlighting is Cody Coaston Judge, a distance runner, a two-year member of our program, and a multi-season athlete throughout the year. Moving forward to our next senior, we have Matt Lamb, a sprinter, two-year member of our program, and also a multi-season athlete. Isaac Landis is a thrower. He next year will be joining the Air Force. He's a three-year member of our program, and his favorite event was the shot put. Martin Lopez, a thrower, also a four-year member of our program. His favorite event is also the discus. His advice to the underclassmen would be, my favorite memory of track was that when I beat my old PR 93 feet with a throw of 104 feet in the discus. Pablo Luna, Luna excuse me, will be attending RCBC next year. He's a two-year member of our program, and his thank yous to his teachers, coaches, and parents would be. Thank you all for not only helping me physically and mentally, but for all the memories that you were made during my four years at North. Go Hounds. Luke McKay is a pole vaulter. Next year, we'll be studying aerospace engineering at Penn State. He was a four-year member of our program, and his advice would be to find something that you are good at, that you care about, and commit yourself. Our next senior is Christopher Martino, a sprinter and hurdler. He will be attending TCNJ next year, a four-year member of our program. And his advice would be, don't take a single day at track to practice for granted. It always helps and will mean something. Aaron Osborne came to us his first year as the program. He's a multi-season standout athlete, sprinter. Next, we have Andy Nava, a middle distance runner. He will be attending the New Jersey Institute of Technology next year. He's a three-year member of our program, and his advice would be, I just want to say thanks to everyone who helped me become who I am today. Now we have Brandon Rizzi. He is a thrower, a first-year member of our program, and it was coming from us from multi-different seasons. This is Kyle Stanley, a distance runner, who again will be attending TCNJ next year. He was a four-year member of our program, and he will be a walk-on TCNJ track and field. Now we have Amir Stevenson, a first-year member of our program, and again, a multi-season athlete coming to us for the first year. 
Here's John Trotter, a middle distance runner. Next year, he will be attending Rutgers Camden and Stutter Computer Science. He was a four-year member of our program, and his favorite event was the 800 meter. Ryan Troy, also a distance runner. He will be attending St. John's University and will major in uh, philosophy, psychology, my apologies. He was a four-year member of our program, and his advice would be, I would tell them to stick with it and keep going because seeing the end result is more rewarding than giving up halfway. Our next senior is Gavin Williams, a sprinter, jumper, and a first year member of our program. His favorite event was the high jump, and his advice would be, I would just like to say to do as many extracurricular activities that are of interest and give 110% of what you do on both athletics and academics. Zachary Wynn was a first year member of our program, a thrower. Next year, we'll be attending Seton Hall University. And his advice to the younger classmen would be, keep working hard and never give up. Dominic Zelinski is also a first year member of our program and also a thrower. Next year, he will be attending Stockton University's computer science major. His advice, his favorite memory for track and field this year will be the first day when all the people that gave, have been trying to get me to do track for the past four years became ecstatic when I walked onto the field for warm-ups. And last but not least, our final senior is Andrew Zimmerman, a sprinter hurdler who will be attending Seton Hall University next year. He was a four-year member of his program, and he was just looks back and think of the track, and he thinks it was a good run. Thank you again for viewing our senior night, and again, I hope this message finds you and your family well. And to all the seniors, I sincerely want to thank you and wish you good luck wherever you go. As you approach this next lap of life, I want you to look back at Northern Burlington and realize you will always have a home and that you made a difference in the track and field family. You will be missed but never forgotten. Thank you. Hi, my name is Coach Haversick and I'm the head coach for the girls lacrosse team. I'm honored to recognize our seven seniors. First is Katie White. Katie was a midfielder that never stopped until she got the job done. She plans on going to Penn State and majoring in health policy and administration. Her favorite memory was celebrating wins on the bus ride home with the team while eating candy from their buddy bags. Second is Aspen McCullough. Aspen was a defender who was willing to step in whenever she was needed. She will be attending Georgia Southern and majoring in chemistry secondary education. Her favorite memory was everyone cheered Aspen Aspen cool cool when she scored her first goal. Third is Rachel Quigley. This was Rachel's first year as goalie and I wish we had her for longer. She will be going to Virginia Wesleyan to play soccer and she plans on majoring in psychology. Her favorite memory was trying something new and playing lacrosse her senior year with her best friends. Fourth is Haley Hetnick. Haley was a solid defender that would play any position we asked of her. She will be attending Clemson and majoring in bioengineering. Her favorite memory was when we built snowmen at practice to try and clear the field of snow. Fifth is Kelly Sweeney. Kelly was a strong attacker who always brought a sense of humor to the field. She will be attending RCBC and plans on majoring in exercise science. Her favorite memory was being able to play sports again after tearing her ACL. Our sixth senior is Bailey Hall. Bailey was an awesome defender who never backed down from a challenge. She will be attending Texas Christian University, playing club lacrosse and majoring in biology in the pre-health program. Her favorite memory was last year's senior night game when we won and everyone hugged each other on the field. And last but not least is Jesse Fell. Jesse was a standout midfielder who did whatever it took to get the job done all over the field. She would be attending Penn State and playing club lacrosse. Her favorite memory was any night game we had, especially the senior nights. The energy and atmosphere was unforgettable. Another favorite memory was screaming Black Betty on the bus before away games. Seniors, thank you for everything you have done for this program. It was an honor to coach you these past few seasons and you have left an impact on the program that will be greatly missed. Your teammates described you as strong leaders who always gave it their all and challenged everyone else to do the same. Always remember that how you do anything is how you do everything. Best of luck in the future and we can't wait to see you succeed. Hi, my name is Tara Corcoran and I'm the varsity softball coach. This is the biggest senior class to graduate from Northern Burlington in a very long time, and I want to make sure they are all recognized for their contribution to the school and sport. On behalf of Coach Corcoran, Coach Allen, Coach Riel, and Coach Bender, 
I'm pleased to recognize the following seniors for their love, loyalty, and dedication to the Northern Burlington softball program. Amanda Kahn. Amanda has been with the program for four years and will be attending cosmetology school in Texas. She always gave her all to whatever was asked of her, and she was also the best teammate. She will be missed for her dedication to the program and always having a smile on her face. Hannah Alexander, Hambone. She will be continuing her education and playing softball at Seton Hall University. She has been a four-year starter at third base. Hannah is a vacuum on the field and a pain in the neck for opposing pitchers. She will be missed for her positive attitude and her hardworking mindset. Haley Archer, Archie. She will be continuing her education and playing softball at University of California at Berkeley. She has been a four-year starter as our pitcher. Archie's dominance on the mound was felt around the state in which she intimidated the opposition, whether it was with her curve, fast pitch, or her bat, she was a force to be reckoned with. She'll be missed for her leadership and strong presence. Megan Berg, Berge. She'll be continuing her education and playing softball at Fairleigh Dickinson University. Berge has been a four-year starter at second base. She has the knowledge, aggressive mindset, and love of the game, which will eventually allow her to have the name Coach Berge. She will be missed for her dedication to her teammates, love of the game, and her dance videos. Alexa Blue, Trey Blue. She will be continuing her education and playing softball at TCNJ. Lex has been a four-year starter at first base. Lex's ability to scoop balls and hit dingers is the tip of the iceberg of her abilities. She will be missed for her humble demeanor, her dance-offs with Bergy, and her juggling competitions with Jules and Ziss. Nicole Bondock, Bon Bon. She will be continuing her education playing softball at St. Joseph's University. Bon has been a four-year starter in the outfield. She has the speed to cover ground, to catch a ball, or to take that extra base unlike anyone in the county. She will be missed by the outfield posse and her ability to be aggressive on the field. Riley Grip, Grippy. She will be continuing her education at Monmouth University. Riley has been a four-year starter in the outfield. She has a quiet demeanor, which allows her to sneak under the radar of the uh, sneak under the radar of the opposition. She will be missed also by the outfield posse and her motherly attitude and humble mindset. Julia Marinick, Jules. She will be continuing her education and playing softball at TCNJ along with Lex. Jules has been a four-year starter as the catcher to the hardest throwing pitcher in the state. Jules operates in stealth mode, being one of the most underrated catchers of all time. She will be missed for her ability to stir things up, whether on the field or up to bat, as well as being one of the best jugglers on the team. Madison Sheese, Zissy. She will be continuing her education and playing softball at Westchester University. Zissy has been a four-year starter at shortstop. She has a way of tracking down balls and an ability to make plays that you would see on ESPN. She will be missed as the team nutritionist, as well as her contagious positive mindset, and of course, her love of the Philadelphia Eagles. Carly Smith. Carly will be continuing her education and playing softball at Drew University. Carly has been involved in the program since middle school and was set to make an impact this year on the mound. She is a modest player who rises to any challenge. Last but certainly not least, Morgan Bentley. Bentley. She will be continuing her education at Cedar Crest College. She has been our manager, team mom for four years. She sets the bar extremely high for future managers with her dedication and love to the girls, coaches, and program. She will be missed for numerous things, but most importantly, for completing the puzzle to Northern Burlington softball. This season is not what we expected or obviously wanted. We had dreams, we had goals, we had a state championship to win, all of which were unexpected, unexpectedly taken away from us. What we will never be able to have taken away is the dedication and passion of each and every one of these girls, the loyalty they had when times were tough, and the love they had for the game, and the love they had as a family. You will all be missed more than you will ever know. I've never had a team that we have loved, and I speak for all of the coaches, we've never had a team this talent of girls, but more importantly, the heart of these girls. Thank you.
Hi, Chris Keller, head men's lacrosse coach, Northern Burlington Regional High School. As you're aware, unfortunately, the season's been canceled due to the pandemic, but we'd like to take this opportunity to honor the members of our 2020 senior class. First up, we have senior manager, Remy Quinton. Remy has been a three-year varsity lacrosse manager for us and has done an outstanding job as our manager, keeping stats, taking care of everything in-game for us and keeping the coaches in line on the sidelines as well. Remy will be attending Montclair State University in the fall and majoring in education. Remy, we want to thank you for everything you've done for us. Next up, Nick Wiley. Nick's been a member of our program for a couple years now and is a one-year varsity letter winner. Nick is someone that's constantly asking questions in practice and working to get better every day. Next senior is Ryan Giovaccini. Ryan has been a member of our program for four years and is a one-year varsity letter winner. Uh, Ryan is someone that shows up to practice every day, gives all he's got, uh, and is constantly trying to get better and working his tail off. Next, we have senior attack, Caleb Tower. Caleb is a two-year starter for us at varsity and a two-year varsity letter winner for us. Caleb did an outstanding job for us in the second half of the season last year at attack um, and a ride into the playoffs last year as well. Next up is senior defender Tyler Neville. Tyler is a three-year varsity letter winner for us, did an outstanding job as a uh, close defender and a long stick defender for us over the years. Tyler will be attending Roan University and majoring in business in the fall and also playing football. Next up we have senior defender Aiden Rose. Aiden is a three-year varsity letter winner for us. Aiden is a consummate team player, uh, has always done everything we've asked of him, from playing in man down situations to playing you know, close defender, doing whatever we need of him. Uh, and he shows up every day and gives everything he's got for us. Aiden will be attending Rutgers, New Brunswick, and majoring in data and information sciences. And last but definitely not least is Anthony Rita. Anthony's a senior, two-year varsity letter winner for us and a midfielder. Anthony is a kid we can count on no matter what to get in the game, get us some quality minutes, uh, and you know do whatever we ask of him. He's another player that shows up every day because it's all he's got. Um, you know, someone that we're proud to have a member of our program. Uh, you know, not only in the field but in the school as well. Anthony will be attending Montclair State University in the fall and majoring in communication and media arts. Uh, you know, seniors. Words can't express how disappointed we are about this season and the things that have happened. Uh, you know, all we can say is keep your heads up. Uh, things will get better. Uh, you guys are positioned to be extremely successful in life. Uh, keep in mind, you guys graduate as uh, two-year back-to-back, 2018-2019 BCSL champions. Uh, and there's no doubt in my mind that we would have been a repeat third-year uh, BCSL champion as well. Uh, we're proud to have you a member of our program. Uh, you guys have accomplished more in your time there than any other you know, members of our program. You're always welcome back uh, as, as part of our program. We wish you the best um, and good luck. Good afternoon. I'm Coach Rick Doppler, head baseball coach here at Northern Burlington. I'm privileged to announce our eight seniors this year who are all terrific players and will be missed next year. First, we have Jake Batashak, a third-year varsity pitcher for us. Jake is moving on to Sacred Heart University, a Division I program in the state of Connecticut. He had a terrific season last year, helping us make it to the sectional finals game. And Jake played first base as well. He batted fifth in our lineup. Jake loves the game of baseball. He, um, he's very passionate about the game. We will miss Jake next year because Jake's a fierce competitor and we're very thankful to have him be a part of our program over the past four years. Next we have Josh Ibe. <clears throat> He's a second year varsity catcher for us. Josh was best known for being the MVP last year at a prestigious tournament we won in Pennsville. Josh caught and, he, and hit a home run in the championship game versus Pennsville which earned him the MVP of the whole tournament. I know it was a very memorable moment for Josh and his family and, and me, myself. Josh works extremely hard and we always loved him for both his work ethic and his leadership. Josh will be attending Eastern University next fall. It's very special to me because that's where my parents met. met. They both went to Eastern Baptist University and Josh, is, we talked about that, he's going to Eastern University where he looks to keep playing baseball. And Josh, you will definitely be missed. 
Next, we have Gio Menino, a two-year letter winner in center field. He is a terrific center fielder with a great arm and an awesome leadoff hitter. I enjoyed watching Gio improve greatly from his sophomore to his junior year. He turned into a real force on the bases and at the plate. One quick story about Gio is that we were scrimmaging Bordentown last year and he was in right field and he threw a ball from right the right field fence all the way to home on a line. And I said, geez, who's that out there? And Coach Darling said, that's Gio. And Nina, I said, Phew. so Gio earned, uh, earned a starting position in center field from that day on and never looked back. Uh, he's a terrific ball player and a terrific person. Gio will attend James Madison next fall. I believe he's going to study to be a lawyer and he will be, we will miss him very much. So good luck, Gio. Next, we have Drew Menichelli, also known as Mench. Drew played outfield and first base for us last season. He once hit a home run and two doubles in one game versus Robbinsville as a sophomore. He was a terrific defensive player and a great teammate. He always held himself responsible and accountable for his actions, which is rare in most high school players. I really respect him for that. Drew has a ter terrific work ethic, and we will miss Mench greatly next year as he moves on to attend Rutgers University. <clears throat> I'd encourage Drew to go out for the team. I know it's tough playing Division I baseball, but Drew, you should go out for the team and give it a shot because you got a lot of talent and you're a hardworking young man. Next, we have Nick the Stud Maltabano. He paid me 20 bucks to put the stud in there. Nick would have played first his first year at the varsity level uh, this year, and he was looking very good in practice the first week. He plays outfield, and he always has a great demeanor about him. Even his sophomore year, I remember him traveling with us and just being so positive in the dugout. Nick lets Lorenzo hang out with him socially too, which is really cool, it's really nice of him. Nick was ready to start this year, and he would have based on his first week of play. He will be attending Michigan State next year, uh, this upcoming fall, and Michigan State will never be the same. We will greatly miss, miss Nick next year. Thanks for playing for us, Nick. Next, we have Dominic Reese. Dom would have, would have battled for a second base position this year. He was out sick the whole first week of practice and got a, a sickness which um, did not enable him to come out um, and try out. He would have made the team. He would have battled for second base. Dom played in our system for two years at the JV level and performed well for very well for Coach Pona. Yeah, he would always talk to me and say hi to me. And uh, we're going to miss you. I'm sorry you were sick this year. We missed you out in the field the first week. Um, so that really is tough when you don't get to play at all in 2020. So, um, hey, good luck to you. We're going to miss you, Dom. Next, we have Lorenzo Repack, who needs no introduction. You know, his claim to fame was hitting a deep ball at Citizens Bank in the Carpenter Cup, which he, which he was able to uh, make that team, which is very prestigious. He was thinking it was a home run, and he was jogging to first, not knowing it was not called a home run and it actually hit the top of the fence. I thought it was a home run, but he was jogging, and then when he found out it wasn't a home run, he started to sprint and he got a triple out of it, and he eventually scored, and, that, and they actually won, which was fantastic. They won the, uh, a very prestigious Carpenter Cup, which was uh, um, winning four games against other teams in the tri-state area. All right, having spoken to several Division I coaches this past year, all of them had heard of that hit. It went, kind of went viral on, uh, on YouTube, so it was pretty cool, and um, Twitter. All right, the ADs and other coaches and even the Phillies middle management guy in the stands looked at me and was like, what was that all about? Walk up jogging like that. And I said, I thought it was out too. So it was kind of funny. Um, Lorenzo will most likely become an athletic director. I really believe he will um, because he's constantly trying to add games to our schedule and harassing our athletic director, which is a lot of, a lot of yeah, really funny. Um, but um, that's how passionate he is about the game. He just wants to play as much as he can. And, and he's like a little kid that way, and that's and that's great. That's how you should be. So, and he's very aggressive, which is good. So, what more is there to say other than he's going to play at Monmouth University next year, a very good Division One program in North Jersey, and you will be very missed, Lorenzo. And we wish you the best of luck. Uh, lastly, but not least, is senior Jaden Vaughn. I'm upset that I didn't get to watch Jaden pitch this year. He was getting very good last season. He looked even better this year in the first week of practice when we had live scrimmage time. 
Jaden's a, a very, very good athlete, very athletic, and he has a great arm as a pitcher. He logged key innings in our playoff run to the section finals last year and would probably have done even better this year based on what I saw in practice. He will attend RCBC next year. It's a division division two. It's um, community college. It's like a division two level. Very good baseball. Um, and he'll actually be playing his home games at Gilder Field in Bordentown about 10 minutes down the road on 130. All right, so we will miss him, but I can still watch him play for a while until some other college is lucky enough to pick him up after his two years. All right, so he's going to do some good things. Um, just a few notes from the heart to these eight young men. They're terrific, pe terrific people. Um, you heard some of the schools they're going to, some of the accomplishments that they've achieved. Um, I'm really going to miss you guys. Um, you know, it's it's sad. I could cry. It's just there's not enough things you can say. Is it's just a it's just a, a rotten thing to happen in your senior year. But you're going to get past this and move forward, and that that's what this whole virus thing's about is learning how to get past this move forward and go on with your lives and you're going to do great things and you're going to learn how to be persistent. I hope you learned some of that playing baseball at Northern. Um, know that I'm always here for any of you, for anything, not just baseball. I tell all my seniors that in private and this, I guess this is the only way I'm going to be able to tell you. But if you don't have my phone number, yeah, you, I'll give it to you. Um, my door is always open. We just refinance. We're not going anywhere. Um, so anything I can help you with um, at all, please keep in contact. I love it when guys come back to visit. I hope you guys do that as well. And I just want to say um, congratulations on graduation. And um, I love you guys. God bless.